peace and high frequencies everybody the black fit wish the dream oracle is here on another beautiful saturday in memphis tennessee uh right now i think it's about yep it's 68 degrees almost 70 degrees out here it is beautiful um i think we're gonna have an early spring i don't think we're gonna hit this cold sometimes we normally have another cold front that comes through with ice but i think we had that a few weeks ago so i don't think it's gonna come back that's just my thoughts but who knows you never know what's gonna happen um but today i wanted to talk about some things that have been happening in um astral traveling um that have been very very um fun um and i want to connect it to some things that was stated uh from uh, Rod Hayes when he did a um, a discussion on Black Magic 363's Patreon that I watched. Uh, shout out Rod Hayes. Uh, if you don't know Rod Hayes, then look him up. And he's also uh, the Sick Ape, S-I-K-E on A-P-E on Instagram. The Sick Ape. But Rod Hayes is like you got to try to keep up with what he talking about sometimes. He go deep, deep. Um, but in my dream uh, a few days ago, I was uh, with a group of people and we were on top of this animal. To me, it reminded me of Mr. Snuffleupagus. Does anybody even know? was what Mr. Snuffleupagus was. You know, says Mr. I don't even know what he was. Like, what was Mr. Snuffleupagus? I don't know. But in the dream, it was like we was riding on something that he wasn't furry like Mr. Snuffleupagus, but he was big like him. And maybe even bigger than what Mr. Snuffleupagus is, but he put me in the mind of, and it moves slow. And you remember on um, Sesame Street, Mr. Snuffleupagus would move very slow and he would take his time. Like, I believe Mr. Snuffleupagus was always in the present moment, right? Because <laughs> he wasn't in a rush for shit. And so it was a group of us that was riding on him. It was almost like, we were traveling going somewhere he was taking us there but wherever i was was whether it be another planet or another uh dimension of time this animal we was riding on i'm gonna call him mr snuffleupagus he stepped on these it was some people that was outside that was making sure the area that we lived in was beautiful like they were these neighborhood um, we were in this neighborhood, but they was making sure that, and it's not like a neighborhood, I would say more like a village, like we were all a collective. And they were making sure that the flowers, the bed of flowers in the area were pretty and refreshed, that, you know, they were newly set out. So, Mr. Snuffleupagus stepped on, while he's walking and taking us somewhere, he steps on the garden beds on the flowers and I remember I was apologizing to the lady that was putting out the flowers and I was like sorry I just remember from sitting up on high up on top of him I was like I'm sorry I'm sorry he stepped on and the lady just kept on putting the flowers in and she said no problem we're gonna put some fresh out again tomorrow <laughs> and she just kept on putting the flowers in and just making sure that they was fluffy and pretty. And she said, don't worry, we're going to put some more out tomorrow. And I thought about that when I woke up. Like, they put fresh flowers out every day. They make sure the flowers are fresh to put out every day. Well, anyway, continuing back into the dream, I digress. Mrs. Snuffleupagus was walking, and of course, we was looking around. And just think about being at a stadium is the best way I can put it but it wasn't as big as like a football stadium there were a group of people sitting on one side group of people sitting on another side group of people sitting on another side group of people sitting, and they were around this deep crater in the center of the planet wherever I was I can't even say earth because I don't even know if I was at earth or not so it's this deep, deep crater, but they were sitting around that crater. And I don't remember them saying anything or talking, 
but I remember some of the faces that I saw. Um, I remember some of the faces of these people that I saw look really weird. Like one of the faces almost looked like an exaggerated caveman. Like he had these real androgynous caveman like features and his face kind of slouched down. It was really weird the way it looked. And then he had like this blonde hair. And I saw a few people that looked like him. Well, it looked weird to me because in the dream, I don't know if I did. I don't know. In the dream, it did look weird to me. So I'm figuring that because it looked weird to me, I wasn't a part of that group. But everybody didn't look like that. That's one thing. Everybody didn't look like him. And so, Mr. Snuffleupagus was about to step into the pit. It looked like he was about to step into the pit. So, we all hop off uh, because it looked like we was about to fall in the pit, this crater that was deep in the earth, and we hop off. When we hop off, I get a, a better view of all the people that were sitting in the stands around this crater. So, um, not remembering much else about that dream, but I do remember that part. And so that was probably about two nights ago. Then going to the dream last night. So um, the dream last night was really weird. It took me to different places and different phases. Um, if you know you ever have a dream where you're just like doing a whole lot of traveling, this was that. And so I'm traveling, but in, in parts of the dream, I'm fighting with my sister. Uh, which was crazy. Oh, before I get into that dream, let me back back. The dream the night before last. I was somewhere and in this space, there was someone who was trying to rob or they had a gun. They had me at gunpoint, actually. And my mind came to be like, there's no bullets in that gun. <laughs> and I looked at the person and I told them, there's no bullets in that gun. And next thing I know, I'm like jumping on this person's neck, twisting them around, throwing them to the ground, and I'm also holding this baby, which was weird. And so I remember them saying like, how you learn how to do all of this? And I was like, I've been doing Kung Fu for over 30 years. I've been doing martial arts for over 30 years like that. And I have been in this reality, which was kind of weird. Felt like it may have been another timeline or I may have stepped in to a timeline to help save somebody. So I, I wanted to throw that out there because that was very weird. I was holding the baby. I was doing martial arts um, as well. I'm um, going back to the Mr. Snuffleupagus dream. Now I shared that. I'm also going to share a clip like I was telling you about from Rod Hayes. He talks about our memories as well. He talks about a part of our memories that we don't always remember because it's been, of course, something has happened um, to take our memories away. And in realms, he said, there have been times where we've been here and uh, we'll experience it in our dreams. Uh, we experience a uh, different um, culture within our dreams because that's what we've experienced uh, before in, in, in this lifetime as a um, being, or I, I guess as in our soul essence in a different form. So I'm gonna share that clip. Um, but, however, going back to the dream I had last night, like I was saying, I was fighting with my sister. Don't know. It was like over an inheritance. That's what it was. It was over a birthright um, that was given to me, but she wanted it. That's what it was. And so, um, but it was rightfully mine. And I'm just like, you're not getting my inheritance. So we had got into a fight over the inheritance or whatever. Um, so... And then it goes out from that. And I remember myself um, laying in the bed, which I was actually with my significant other. But I was at his house last night. But in my dream, I was at my house. And I have ducks and geese and everything in my neighborhood. And uh, um, in the lake that's behind my house. And in the dream, it was like we were asleep, but I could hear these ducks and geese like in the water like playing in the water making these sounds in the water while I was in the dream sleep 
in the dream at my house in my bed that's where we were but in in this reality we were in his bed at his house um and i shared that with him i said it was interesting that it felt like i was in two places at the same time like physically in this reality yes i'm here i was here with you we both were here at your house we woke up here but we were also at my house in my bed and we heard ducks and geese playing in the water in my backyard so um that was interesting that it felt it didn't feel like a dream like that felt like <laughs> overlapping i've been talking about these overlapping timelines overlapping of existences of self um and that's felt like what it was and also i start to i'm also coming into another like aha epiphany uh awareness like i don't know what the fuck you want to call it but i'll take these off but it feels like that um when you get to a state of where these timelines overlap it also feels like you become in alignment and a vibrational match for those things to come into your existence in this reality you know before i've talked about connecting with your higher self right i share with you all the book about connecting with your higher self so it feels like when you do get to a state um, that connection with your higher self then you also have these over overlapping timelines of existence because things have come into alignment in alignment in other dimensions too um, and things are flowing freely in this realm as well like everything flows so freely because you connected with your higher self that your higher self has connected you in all realms of existence as well so timelines in which like i shared i was at his house in this realm but i was also we were also at my house in this realm and that's because my higher self has stepped in in all realities and now is not a forced creation of things to happen this reality like things are just happening because my higher self has now taken full control to allow things to flow in all dimensions and because they're flowing in all dimensions when you're in alignment things are happening in alignment in all realities if you all understand and that makes sense because we're in alignment and flowing things that are happening in different uh dimensions are going to overlap and happen in this one just like we were asleep at his house but at the same time we were asleep at my house listening to the ducks like that's the overlapping of existences like we both were asleep we're still in an overlap of what we are in sync with what we're supposed to be doing because of the connection of the higher self like that's the best way <laughs> i know how to try to put it uh, if that makes sense to you all because it makes sense to me I don't know but also in the dream um, we were doing a lot of things together now part of one of the things that we were doing it was like we were with this group of people who were training and it was like they were training their powers like we had um, someone it was like a father figure who knew our capabilities but he was training us almost like how it was in Dr. Strange um, when he went to visit, you know, uh, can't think of like the high, you no know, um, shaman um, there. It was almost like this high ranking, uh, I said, ancestor came into the astral plane to show us how to utilize our power. So we were going through various tests and me and my partner we was actually doing it together going through these tests together um and then we would get tired and we'll slack off when they weren't watching and we'll start working on our powers again when they knew they was coming back around there were also a set of twins in the dream now this set of twins um they could levitate um on top of buildings and different things like that but they also had stuff that they had to work on so they levitated on this really tall building went halfway to the building fell down into the pool and then they went all the way on top of like a skyscraper 
and then they fell down into the pool or when one of them fell down into the pool it was almost like she lost herself and then she came back into herself and then she hit the water and so at the end of her going through that we had it was like we was going we was listening like she was the lesson so the teacher or the high-ranking ancestor that was teaching us had us come back from later around and he wanted to share like what he felt he saw happen with um, that feminine energy being that was working on her powers and then also for her to share what she got over by doing that and overcoming those obstacles of what she was feeling in and out of body as she was falling down but that she was capable of doing it and she had to get out of her way of not doing something like that when she has the powers and capabilities to do it <laughs> right so yeah y'all that <laughs> that was the dream even though i haven't really like thought on it for a long time right now like like even me just right now talking about it it makes so much sense it's like we have these abilities we have these powers but if they're if we're not using they're stagnant because we have fear and we're afraid of this and the third may happen then we actually don't go to our full extent of what we need to do within the capabilities that were given to us so we have to get out of our own way go ahead run into that like run into it allow it to happen free fall flow be in and out of body so you can full feel the full experience of what your capabilities have to offer so then you'll be able to make them stronger because you know how to utilize it and you know you will get over that hurdle of what that fear may be and overcome that so you can be able to use it to help yourself and to help others so it's really giving me like more information on that last part of the dream because i woke up went back to sleep woke up went back to sleep woke up, woke up went back to sleep a lot last night so the last part of the dream i was going into target i remember three comedians hopping out the car going into target as well they knew me i remember when they got the got got out the car i saw them and when i got out of the car they in uh saw me and they was like oh what you doing here da, 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 da. so um we end up going into target i was on the phone with my significant other talking to him and i end up seeing a lot of police like blocking off this area in target where you couldn't go no further like you can't go down there because it's something going on so i hear this lady screaming and i was told that she was trying to kill her baby like it was something going on she was trying to kill her baby she was really irate and they don't want anybody going down there until they can get her out so i was like okay wow like this is weird and i started listening in on some things that she was saying and i was like it doesn't sound like she gonna kill her baby like why are they saying that so next i know the lady comes out it was a white lady who comes thin white lady comes out and she was just going off like she act like there wasn't any type of police there nothing she was just angry had nothing to do with her child she was just angry and they didn't even apprehend her or anything i don't understand and i woke up from the dream and i was like that was weird <laughs> oh, excuse me. so i shared that with my partner as well <laughs> and i know sometimes he just be like what is she talking about but these are my dreams throughout the night so when i go to sleep wake up go to sleep wake up then i have multitude infinitude of existences i started to tap into those infinitude of existences and what's going on in all these different states and i don't know you all if we want to call it a state of consciousness um well i guess i could say it's a state of consciousness because consciousness is infinite consciousness can be anywhere and everywhere at any time time doesn't exist so it is a state of consciousness um which is here in mind but mind is all so it's not just here in this mind but mind exists everywhere right so um trying to wrap your mind around it sometimes can be a little overwhelming because you can only you can only really think about what you've experienced if that's all you've experienced is this physical form thought process but it's so much and it's so vast and so many that i feel like now that i've had these dreams for so 
so long, like I said, over 40 years now, I can remember dreams um, that now I feel like it's just a state of consciousness that is experiences itself in all these different vast infinitude of possibilities. So I will leave it there. Um, thank you all so much uh, for watching. If you're watching it now or later. And uh, Witches and Warlocks will be back on and popping Friday. Do know it is the year of the dragon we're coming into officially. I think Thursday or Friday. Um, and look at what your Chinese zodiac is. Look at what this year's um, stated or stated to say to bring to you or however you want to create it because nothing is exact. I don't speak in absolutes ever, um, but just looking at so you'll have a mind of how you want to go about creating this world, this reality, and this time space on this realm, which also if you connect to your higher self and you get in alignment with your higher self, it also brings into alignment all of those other existences in which you exist into a complete state of bliss and it is amazing all right thank you all for watching and joining uh the black fit witch have a great rest of your day and i leave you in peace and high frequencies everybody